at ACC 14. I'm holding a, a magazine that you can't get anymore around here. It is sold out. It is Cardio Source World News, I'm very happy to say. The current issue has a, a title piece that says, has HDL research gone after the wrong lipid subfraction? Actually, the answer may be yes, and the same thing may be true on the LDL side. I'm with Dr. Terry Jacobson, Emory University, where he's a professor of medicine, and you've had a paper presented here on this particular topic of lipid subfractions. They seem to be tripping us up. Yeah, no, it's become pretty confusing out there for physicians, <laughs> but we're coming back we to we LDL. <laughs> we're becoming much more LDL-centric now than HDL-centric, oh, yeah. but we're also moving to measuring LDL in different ways and better ways. And that's the study that I just completed looking at a database called HealthCore, Managed Care Database, where we compared people who got their LDL particle number, a different measure of LDL uh, to goal versus LDL cholesterol to goal. And what we found, those who got to LDL particle goal had better outcome, had a 24% risk reduction. And so the main message here is that although LDL cholesterol has served us well over the years, there are still patients who have atherogenic particles that need more aggressive therapy. Measurement of LDL particle number is one way to assess residual risk. And in this study, what happened is that people were more aggressive using statin therapy using a different measure of LDL. So a very exciting study that I think is important that it is beyond LDL, that LDL particles are more important than LDL cholesterol. Now, does this come up during the normal lipid assay, or do you have to order something this special? Is, yeah, this is a special assay that you do have to send out. And the reason we've always used LDL cholesterol, the assay was always very simple. LDL-C is calculated. This is a little more involved, but it's a simple send out. And generally, what we find is risk tracks better with LDL particle number than LDL cholesterol, particularly when they're divergent. And so in a given scenario of a patient at high risk, their LDL-C cholesterol might be at goal, but they might have huge residual risk. The only way you know that is to check an LDL particle number, and that would signal to you they're at higher risk than it appears. And in this study that we did with HealthCore, um, we found that Physicians and providers who used LDLP were more aggressive in statin therapy. It was a signal to do more, and we think this is very important. So a patient isn't a necessary goal until you assure that their particles are at goal. Another measure of particles besides LDL particle number is ApoB or non-HDL, but this is a, a clear uh, metric for understanding by the majority of practicing physicians. So better risk assessment and perhaps a more accurate uh, way of looking at patients, providing you with more impetus to be aggressive. Exactly. And I think the one thing with the new guidelines, they emphasize intensity of statin therapy as almost trumping all. This shows that you really do need to intensify therapy hopefully with statins first, but if that's not enough, and frequently it's not enough to consider other lipid-lowering agents. Well, please check CardioSource World News in the March issue for our look at HDL and the, uh, the particle problems there. And please look around for more coverage from ACC 14 at uh, CardioSource World News. I'm Executive Editor Rick McGuire.